Hello lovely people, this is Mums Crossing on YouTube and today we're going to continue to decorate our villager yards for Halloween. Bo and Fauna are neighbors of course, so we're going to be giving them more of a spoopy look. We're going to keep it kind of cute and Fauna will have something a little scary on this side of her house. Halloween is one of my favorite holidays, I'm super excited to be decorating for it. I hope you guys like these builds. Tag me on Instagram if you guys end up using some of these ideas. And with that, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start off on Bo's house. And we're just going to lay down some custom codes. This spiderweb code will be in the description below. As well as these water codes. I really love that little snail model there with the water code underneath it. It made it just look slimy and creepy looking. Again, we're going for more of a spoopy look, so I added this skeleton, which I thought was really cute. And really just making these houses look like these are the ones you want to go to when you're trick-or-treating. Okay, now on to Fauna's yard. We're just going to start off on this side with some custom codes. I really like the spiky fencing for Halloween. That one and the barbed wire fencing are probably my favorite Halloween fencing. So this is the side of her yard that's going to be a little bit more creepy. I add this outdoor bath here that looks like it's continuing to pour water down from the waterfall. And then we have a well. The simple well is a very creepy item. I'm really excited to finally use it. And we're just going to splash some water around and add the kelp over the water to make it look like something creepy crawled out of the well and trailed off over here.
and now I'm bordering off Chevra's yard, which will be in another build. So once it's posted, I will link that video here. And since we're going for more of a spoopy look, even though we have the creepy wall right next to it, I'm going to add a little spooky treats basket with some candy dropped, as if some trick-or-treaters came by and dropped some candy. If you guys haven't seen my Halloween spoilers video yet, it goes over all of the 2021 spooky items, including the spooky treats basket, so I'll link that for you guys here and you can go and check it out. Diana gave me this baby romper outfit and I might be wearing this for Halloween. Okay, and that is the finished look for Bo and Fauna's house. We have Fauna's house over here with the creepy well that looks like somebody crawled out of it and is now walking around the island. I thought this kelp here was really creepy and it's such a simple item to use um, with the water customization code. It just looks gross and slimy. It makes you wonder what came out of that well. And that's it for Fauna's yard. So let's go check out Bo's. So for Bo, he just has some cute stuff laying around, like the pumpkins and the skeleton. His house was more haunted themed, and a house that you'd feel comfortable going trick-or-treating to. We all know Bo's the most likely to have the best candy. I hope you guys like these builds and you get some inspiration from them. Again, I'm going to be doing a couple more videos like this, one with Chevra and Eric's house, and another one with Pearl and Raymond's house. Raymond's house is going to be a little bit special. He's going to have his own graveyard, so keep an eye out for that build. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.